is Rocky back with a tutorial on DIY graphs. Today I'll be talking about the native array format. One other data format other than the CSV format which we have learned in the last video. So let's start off by copying this link over here as usual. Create a division. And this time I have Autobots and Decepticon from the Transformers movie. So we will generate a graph using this data today. So let us give it an idea of transforms. Alright over here let's create a new dy graph. As usual the first parameter will be your document dot get element by id where you reference back to your division container. So here you type transformers and then put a comma after that you put in data yes so the way this native format works is pretty simple you start off with square brackets over here an array and inside you put in furthermore arrays so the way uh, over here you can see that on day one they were 45 Autobots and 50 Decepticons on second day they were 40 and 20 respectively so the way you type in is pretty straightforward all right after creating uh, the first square bracket which starts off an array you give in more arrays the way it works is very pretty straightforward so you just type in 1 45 50 as the input value and then put a comma and then continue this way all right so i'll fast forward this video for you Okay, so we are done. As you can see, there's no funky symbols like backslash n and plus symbol that we have used in the CSV format. This is pretty straightforward. And there's a reason why this is called a native format. This data format is pretty helpful when you're working with a server-side language. So you can use it for data that is generated by JavaScript and other languages which work in this way. As you can see there are no labels over here the way that we have put up in the last video but of course we have to have labels in our graph so the way the only way that we can put over here is to by using options so the way you use options is put a comma after the square brackets and then start off flower brackets and then provide labels start an array and this time you use quotes over here so call it x chord and then autobots and decepticons oops all right put a semicolon over here and let's see if this runs all right sorry sorry for that simple mistake uh, we need to put a normal parenthesis instead of a flower in bracket. All right, so we have a wonderful graph over here. As you can see, this blue line depicts Decepticons, while red line depicts Autobots. As you can see, Decepticons are at an all-time low on day two, with 20 Decepticons on the team, while they have risen to 70 on day six, and we can zoom the graph as usual as I've shown it to you in one of the previous videos. Again, in case you want the animated zooms feature, you can go ahead and put that as well. Just make sure you put a comma over here, put animated zooms as true. Alright, so let's run it. Alright, so you have two options one is for labels another one is for animated zooms which is working as you can see perfectly fine make sure that you stay tuned to this channel i'll be bringing in much more stuff fun stuff which you can experiment with within no time so thanks a lot for watching this guys 
as usual like share subscribe and show it to your friends who might be interested in exploring data visualization all right see you in the next video bye